guys, welcome to our kitchen. So today we're making a recipe that's pretty much what we eat more often than not. Most nights of the week, we come home from work, we're totally strapped for time, but we wanna eat clean. Mm. So George, who is the chef in our family, Hello. I assist, I'm a very good sous chef. <laughs> um, George came up with a great idea to really, really put together something in like 20 minutes that assured us we could eat clean every single night of the week. It is so easy, you guys, you can't imagine. So yeah. let's get to it. You're gonna love this. So the idea of this meal was fast and clean. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get boneless, skinless chicken breasts, or you can use chicken tenders as well, your preference. We're gonna get a pan like this and we're gonna spray it down. So this is a really nice cast iron pan. It can really take the heat. We're gonna spray it down first with your favorite uh, spray, we happen to like canola oil. So once you've sprayed your pan down, you can lay in the chicken breasts or you can put in the chicken tenders, again, your preference. And we're gonna get some spices that really work for us. One is we're gonna use garlic powder, not garlic salt. And we're just gonna lightly coat the chicken breasts like so. The next one, and this is sort of a favorite combination of ours, is to take garlic and contrast it with something like cinnamon. And again, lightly coat, right? And then the last one, and this is again our personal preference, we like a little spicy in our meal, so we're gonna put a very light coating of cayenne pepper right on top there. I like it spicy. Oh yeah. So once you have all the spices laid down on the chicken, the last thing you have to do is just take a little bit of spray, just lightly hit those guys on top, and we're gonna drop these babies in the oven, which is set to broil. And we're gonna put the chicken up really close to the flame so it gets a really nice crispy feel to it. Boom. Bye-bye. So once you have the chicken in the oven, you're gonna set it to broil and you're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. So, you guys, we did not always eat healthy, by the way. When we met, we were already into fitness, like super into fitness. And I think that we thought that we ate healthy, but we both had some really bad vices. Truth be told, I put like four stevia in every coffee that I drank. We drank diet soda, chewed sugar-free gum, which like totally bloated us. We just like did weird stuff. It just wasn't really in line with like a clean eating lifestyle. People think that it takes too much time and that it's too expensive to eat clean. And what eating clean really means is just very, very low on the ingredient level, right? You're not eating things with a million different ingredients on the back and chemicals. You are really sticking to what we call the outside of the grocery store, okay? So your produce section, your meat section, you're really sticking with real foods, foods that come from the ground and from the earth. And that's what we're trying to do here. Absolutely. And shh little secret that is when all of that hard work in the gym actually started to show i could see my abs i had a six pack for the first time in my life it was a miracle so to accompany the chicken the next thing we wanted to do was have some really great veggies we happen to like brussels sprouts and we're going to show you a really unique way to do this we have red onions and we also have elephant garlic I really like elephant garlic because it has much less of a bite and a little tiny bit of a sweet taste. So you can see the vegetables are lined up here. I'm gonna do these last couple of Brussels sprouts and just get them on here. And all I'm doing is taking the Brussels sprouts and cutting them in half, like so. And the onions, you can see, we like red onions, and you can see they're about a quarter inch slice. Really nice, and the same with the garlic. Once you have all the vegetables in the pan, we're gonna give it a little bit of a spray, like so. Um, some people also like to use a little bit of drizzle of olive oil. That's, again, your personal preference. And then we're gonna just top each of these things off with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit. And we're done. And so it's a really good idea to check on your chicken. We're about seven and a half minutes in. So again, our personal preference is really nice and crispy, but not everyone loves it that way. 
So you're going to really take a look here and you can see what's going in. Look at those bad boys, right? They're really coming along nicely. So we're going to push that back in. I think we're going to be good for another seven minutes or so. Again, everything is about personal preference. So I have mentioned also that I, I had maybe not the healthiest eating practices. One thing that I did that was like a major vice was I drowned everything in ketchup. Ketchup and just sauces. Like I love sauces. Like I would get grilled chicken and steamed veggies from the diner being healthy, right? And then I would get like a soup as a side and I would like dip my chicken in the soup. Like, no, like that's not how it works. Or I would get like a veggie burger or a turkey burger, you know, with no bun and like I'm being so healthy. And then I would drown it in ketchup, with, which is like full of sodium and sugar and all sorts of bad stuff. So another thing my amazing chef husband uh, came up with to kind of Hello. help combat this was really concocting his own like purees and, and sauces and things made out of real ingredients um, and not, you know, preservatives, sodium and sugar. Um, so I could feel like I had a little sauce on my food and we weren't just eating grilled chicken night after night. Right. And one of the things I want to mention here is that it was my pleasure to do that for you, but more importantly, there was a lot of experimenting going on. So I tried to look at things that we like to eat and, and how can I make something out of that? So that's what's really important. And, and this is for us. We're going to show you what works for us. And you have to at home, like figure out, you know, I like these sort of flavors and these sort of tastes and find ingredients that you can combine and do this for yourself. But in the meantime, if you're not a chef and you don't know what to combine, we're gonna give you a really cool recipe for a uh, carrot ginger puree. Absolutely. That we like to use to top our chicken Yummy. and veggies. And it's kind of spicy. So here's how we start. Right before I started with the chicken and preparing all these other foods, I had steamed some carrots. I got them really nice and soft, and you can see that when you just, it falls apart with your knife, right? So, the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a pinch of Himalayan sea salt, our favorite. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of ginger, and your favorite hot sauce, again, your call or none at all, that's totally up to you. We happen to really like hot sauce. So we're gonna pour that over the top. And then we're gonna take our hand food processor. Lock that nice and tight because this is a color you don't want to get out when you're wearing a white shirt. <laughs> and then we're gonna do this, you ready? Gonna bring that down a little bit. And you can see how that starts really feeling now. That's a lovely sight. We're gonna get a little spatula. Open that bad boy up. Make sure we scrape the walls down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Then we're going to hit it just one more time just to make sure we got everybody nice and chopped up. Shouldn't take too long. And here you can see what it looks like. Right in there and you can see how that's really nice and soft. Now it's almost like a little bit like very soft mashed potatoes. And we're going to put that on top of our meal but we'll show you that later. Okay, I mean, we both have real life jobs, right? Like NYC Fit Fam is our side passion. We love doing it, but like we go to work all day. All day. We are busy people and we have a 17 month old son. So like he needs us too. So we don't have time. If it takes more than like 20, 30 minutes, like we're out. Yeah. This entire meal beginning to end should take about 30 minutes. There's about 10 minutes of prep time about 12 minutes uh, in the, the broiler chicken, for the right. chicken. Another 10 for the veggies. 10 for the veggies. You do the puree while everything's cooking and bam, you're on the table. And you're done. What we're trying to do is keep it in a short time frame, which will prevent you from, you know, ordering out, which is the easy thing to do when you get home later in the day. When I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Angry. Okay. Sounds like our chicken is just about done. We're gonna get those guys out right now. Oh yeah, see? Oh yeah. Look at those. And again, personal preference, we like it nice and crispy. 
We're going to leave that broiler running. We're going to put these guys in real quick. These will take much less time. Right that center of the broiler, you can see how high up that is. Slide that back in there. Watch your face. Set it for 10 minutes, which I don't even think we'll need. And off we go. Okay, like I said, didn't really need the 10 minutes. So make sure you turn the oven off now. And I think we are good to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. Look at those bad boys. Nice and toasty. So we're gonna take those out, put that right up on here. Super hot. So, final part and the best part. Get your plate. Get your piece of chicken. We're gonna grab a couple of Brussels bad boys right here. Right, a little bit of onion on the side. And of course, you gotta have one of these swanky pieces of garlic. And then, we're gonna take our puree. We're just going to give it a nice light coating on top. And there you have it. Grilled New York City style. For this and other NYC FitFam recipes, check out our website, nycfitfam.com. All right, babe, you ready? Mm. Oh yeah, we're going to be fun to make out with tonight after all this garlic. Oh well. See you later. Bye-bye.